This is sort of happening all across the city. The downtown area, one of the key places where this is happening. Now, police don't know why this is happening or who is doing this. That is why they're asking for the community's help. It may be hard to see, but it's there. Definitely seen a lo very large uptick. Uptick in tagging. Graffiti popping up all around Davis. Everywhere downtown has been hit, around parks, just a lot of different public zones, commercial zones. Deputy Chief Paul Dorshoff says it has really picked up over the last month, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down. Just this past week, the department reports more than a dozen incidents. We don't know why. And while the graffiti isn't anything vulgar or gang related, but so far it's cost the city around $10,000 in labor and material just to clean it up. And that's only in public areas. A lot of businesses, residential has got hit. So the, there's the added costs of the private cleanup. While Davis has had graffiti vandalism before, what's different now is that the numbers are increasing at a faster rate. In human nature, you kind of expect think people to do things. Matt Kristen lives in Davis and didn't know the tagging had been a serious issue. While he doesn't condone or endorse vandalism, he wonders if having a sanctioned place might stop people from tagging on public and private property. Kids get bored, so <laughs> they'll find ways to entertain themselves. I'm not sure who's doing it, but. Kristen might be on the right track as police ask parents to keep a close eye on what your children are doing. Check your kids backpacks if they have huge markers or, or paint, you know, ask them why. While police investigate, the cleanup continues. This isn't cool and their community too, so let's keep it looking nice. Now police is asking for the public's help. If you see graffiti taking place, to give them a call so they can try to catch whoever is doing this. Now it is a felony if the graffiti causes damage more than $400 worth. Reporting live in Davis, I'm Garch Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News.